Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. As part of our Stay in Cornwall series, we're here at Chapel Pod in Higher Chapel Farm, Calstock. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe. We've just arrived at Higher Chapel Farm. We're gonna stay in a luxury glamping pod. Oh, it looks lovely. It's part of our Stay in Cornwall series. I can't wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, well, this is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> wow! A little dressing table, full length mirror on the door as well. TV! Oh, we're spoiled! It's absolutely spoiled. gorgeous. And this little ensuite bathroom is perfectly formed. You've got your little vanity sink and a loo. And round the corner, a shower cubicle, and then a little breakfast bar. Solid wood, oh, I do like that. It has its own set of kitchen cupboards and units. It's a cupboard. It's a cupboard. What's in this cupboard? It's not a ah, cupboard. It's a, oh, it's a fridge with cake in it. Oh, it's my favourite oh. type of fridge. Oh. Oh. Ah, a few pots and pans. A bit of crockery. And some cutlery and stuff like that. All the things you need, isn't it? It looks like a little hob, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> found something else. We've got a microwave, toaster, kettle. It is designed for couples, so everything's got to come in twos, isn't it? Two wine glasses and two mugs. Oh, I've got upside down ducks on them. And this is your view. Just rolling countryside. It's on the farm. But they've allocated you part of their garden. Little table and chairs out there. Oh, come on, son, you've got to come out and show us which way you shine. As if on cue the sun's come out, so it shines straight in here. Oh, how idyllic. So we've had an hour now to explore this gorgeous little pod and we've noticed some really lovely things. Let me show you. This device controls the underfloor heating. So we noticed that all the windows are double glazed and you've got an additional heater if you really like it snug. I am loving the theatre lights. Nice little touch, I've got the sockets just to the side of the beds, one on each side so you can charge up your phone there. Box of tissues has been provided and there's some towels. And with this little hot plate you've obviously got the options to make some proper dinners. Salt, pepper. Jean has thought of things like doing your washing up. Tea towel. Oh, Aww. so cute. Little isn't love parts on it. Yeah. It's a really generous space. And you've got room for a settee, you've got room for a breakfast bar, you've got your little kitchen cabinets. I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is brand new. So this is um, now available to rent. We'll put the details in the description below. I've lost him. Where's he gone? Oh, he's out here. Look, he's snuck out. Not only has he snuck out, he's got the cake. Cake. <laughs> so you able to explain where we are in Cornwall? Yeah, we are just inside Cornwall. We're pretty much on the Devon-Cornwall border. We're by the River Tamar. Um, Probably very close we to are number quite four, aren't close we? to Calstock. So Higher Chapel Farm has a lovely little website. It's where you can book the B&B &B, and there's a link there to book the pod. We're going to use that as a starting point to help us explore the area and we are first off going to explore Halton Quay. So we're off on an explore, Sarah. Yeah, we're just going to get our bearings. So we're hopefully going to find Halton or Halton Quay. Okay. So we're going back up to join the main road and turning left. Okay, and it's a little stroll, isn't it? And I can hear a squirrel climbing up a tree. That's nuts. <laughs> so 
We're just surrounded by beautiful Cornish rolling countryside with the odd farm dotted through. Would it be fair to say that we don't really know this area very well? Yeah, we don't visit this way too often, do we? We come up to Plymouth every now and again to go shopping because it's brilliant for shopping. That's not too far away actually from here, is it? No, so you could do Plymouth quite easily from here. I would have thought the Rain Peninsula. Yes, you could get to Rain. I'll, I'll put the playlist at the end of this video. We've got a series of walks down on the Rain Peninsula. Beautiful part of Cornwall. Yeah, absolutely. And you're not too far away from places like Glue as well. Glue, Polperro, about 40 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, it's ideally situated. And of course, you're in the middle of all this gorgeous countryside. This is Halton Quay Chapel. It's a very small chapel, isn't it? This tells us Halton Quay in 689 AD, St Indract and his sister St Dominica of Irish royal birth landed near this spot. Another option that you can choose is what we did today, isn't it? Visit Cotille. Beautiful Tudor Manor, absolutely exquisite. It's kept so beautifully by the National Trust. We had a wonderful day, didn't we? they got beautiful gardens there as well. Yes. And it's, it's on the banks again of the River Tangma. Beautiful. I'll put a link to that video at the end. Good old information board, Sarah. Yeah, it's got some suggested walks on it. St Dominica Heritage Trail. If we were staying longer, I'd definitely be doing one of them. So that's an option if you stayed here. It is possible to get to Port Isaac, home of Dot Martin from Chapel Pod. Take you about an hour. Let's go back to the accommodation. Have a little glass of wine before we head up to the pub for dinner. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Cheers, Dan. Cheers. The pub was on the way to St Dominic and took us about 25 minutes to walk there. Who'd have thought it, Sarah? That's a good name for a pub, isn't it? The Who'd have thought it in? Who'd have thought it was all the way uphill to get here? You certainly earn your dinner. Yeah, but the good news is it's all the way downhill. Going back. Home cooked foods, real ales. That looks good. Gluten free Cornish sausage and mash with vegetables and a steak and ale pie with chips. <laughs> Best bangers and mash I've had for months. Sausage looked nice. It was. It was 10 out of 10. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to hold the camera level. It's a bit of a challenge. I've got a question for you. It's very pheasant, isn't it? It's quite good. So what, what breed of sheep did you get that feather off? That's what I have to put up with. This is evidence. They, and they think I'm the idiot. <laughs> this is proof. I'm the same one. Good morning. Morning. Come out here a minute. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I've got a question for you. Yeah. What can you hear? Birds. Yeah. Glorious, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely oh, glorious. I know, I know. Oh, it's 
beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. If you're staying here, you will be offered a breakfast. Higher Chapel Farm's website says, in the morning you can indulge in our delicious home-cooked full English breakfast, which will set you up for a day full of adventure. Very nice. <laughs> Whilst we were staying at Chapel Pod, we filmed a beautiful walk from Cotille Car Park to Calstock and beyond, following the tranquil River Tamar. It will be uploaded to our channel soon if it hasn't already. So here we are today, we're outside of the pod and let me introduce you to our host, Jean. Good morning everybody. This is my new pod. It's in my new adventure for 2019. It is Chapel Pod set in the heart of the Tamer Valley and we would like to give you a truly warm welcome to come and have a real romantic getaway. To book this pod I'll put all the details in the description below. Jean is lovely, it's really lovely here. And please mention us if you do book, tell Jean Cornish Walking Trail sent you. <laughs> Our stay in Chapel Pod, I have really enjoyed this. Yeah, it's a romantic, luxurious pod for two. I've always wanted to stay in a building like this. It's really quirky, but it's so luxurious. Yeah, and it's situated in the most beautiful part of Cornwall, exploring the Tamar Valley. So the golden question, would you stay here again? I would certainly stay here again. We've had a superb time and I thoroughly recommend it. Stay here. I'd live here.